Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and uh, basically, I want to just do this quick video. All right. And I'm going to entitle this as the end of approaches. What shall we do? OK. And the answer to that question is very simple, you know. Um, you know, we don't have this special plan of action. You know, we don't have a, 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 <laughs> a drawn out map of, of what we're going to do. You know, we're going to do exactly what's written in the scriptures, man. You know, pray, continue to watch. All right. Continue to uh, remain in holy conversation. All right. Be brotherly, be diligent. OK. And dodge the fiery darts of the devil. You know, just continue to remain spiritual. All right. Now, in these latter times, there's going to be a lot of distractions, a lot of demons coming at you. Things are going to get harder because we're at the, you know, we're at the end of the race. You know, but we got to just continue to fight, man. OK, so I'm going to start with the book of Matthew. Chapter 13 and verse 15, it says, for this people's heart is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed. At least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted that I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. <clears throat> OK. So the Lord gave us a gift. He gave us a blessing in these latter times, man. He gave us eyes to see and he gave us ears to hear. OK, so we can continue to watch. All right. He gave us eyes so we could watch, man. You know, be spiritual, spiritually discern things. OK. Well, Jake, Jake, <laughs> Jake is spiritually discerned. You know, Salakia, Jake is spiritually discerned, man. You know, they're not doing the things that they should be doing in the uh, in the end times. <clears throat> All right. They're just living as in the days of Noah. Eating, drinking, giving in marriage, partying, you know, doing what they do. But we are supposed to remain in a holy conversation, man. <clears throat> in godliness, as it is written in Second Peter, the third chapter. It says, for verily, I say unto you. That many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. All right, because a lot of our forefathers, you know, they passed, even though they're back in the reincarnation. You know, they passed away. They they uh <clears throat> they handled their business. They did what they were supposed to do as righteous men. And have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye have heard and have not heard them. Okay? So the, the point is, we're supposed to be watching, listening. Hey, the scriptures say watch as well as pray, right? You know, and speaking of watching, let's get a. <clears throat> let's get Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. You know, we really got to watch what we're doing in these latter times, man. Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse one. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. And, and is, is not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai getting ready to bring the sword upon the land? You damn right he is, man. And who's the watchman? We're the watchman. So that's another thing you should be doing in these latter times is being a good watchman. Okay. As the end approaches, what shall we do? Well, you're supposed to be a good watchman. <clears throat> it says, if he, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And that's exactly what we're doing week in and week, week out, day in and day out, man. Warning the people, you know, brothers are um, exhorting one another, which is beautiful. 
pushing out these beautiful lessons but at the same time you have uh, more intense lessons where you're going into prophecy and we're warning the people and filtering it through the scriptures it says then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning if the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head and a lot of you people your blood is on your own head man because you hearing the sound of the trumpet you seeing the brothers out there on the highways and the byways doing what they're supposed to do as the end approaches but you're not taking heed yourself you wasn't blessed with those eyes to see and those ears to hear so your blood is going to be upon your own head but the watchmen are doing their job <clears throat> that's why it says that then who verse four then whosoever hear of the sound of the trumpet and take if not warning if the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning his blood shall be upon him but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul and that's the point we're taking warning man we're taking the warning of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So Lord willing, he saves us, man. Okay? And in the midst of us taking warning and teaching the word, since I brought it up in 2 Peter, okay? We're going we're gonna to continue to deliver that holy conversation. 2 Peter 3 and uh, 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven shall pass away with the great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So if you know that all this shit is going to get dissolved and burnt up by the ICBM missiles, wouldn't you want to get right with the most high? Wouldn't you want to have a good report with the most high? Yahweh by Shimi Shai. If you read these scriptures and you understand them, then you're supposed to want to get right with the most high, man. If you know that what he's bringing, destruction, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You're supposed to be, you know, in a holy conversation, man, constantly having your mind and your spirit on this truth. Looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is the year Apostle Tahar deemed this year <clears throat> uh, hasting into the coming of the day of Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is very spiritual. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And what's that going to come from? Them nukes, baby. The ICBMs, man. Okay, I've created this smith to blow up the coals in the fire. <clears throat> so, yeah, brothers, I mean, there's a. Uh, you, you can answer this question in a lot of ways, man. Let's get Ephesians, the sixth chapter. You know, as the end approaches, what shall we do? Like I said, there's no special plan of action. Y'all got a plan? Are we going to trust in your Habba Shem Shai and do what these scriptures say, man? Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. That means you're supposed to man the hell up. Put on the armor of the most high, gird up your loins with the truth. Put on a breastplate of righteousness. And man up, stand, uh, <clears throat> Salakia, and your feet shod with the pre preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. And hey, you can't have faith, man. I mean, you can't be faithless in these latter times, man. You gotta have, you gotta have that faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of the most high praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. That's another thing you got to, we got to pray, man. Consistently, the scriptures say, what? Well, pray without ceasing and watching thereunto with all pre uh, perseverance and supplication of the saints. Okay. 
So prayer, watching in the spirit, okay, doing the things that we have to do to to um to um withstand these latter times, man. There's no magic plan. All right. Like I said, we don't got a map. We're going to draw this map out. This is what we got to do in the latter. It's already written what we got to do, man. So brothers, just stay up in the spirit. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Lord willing, this is edifying. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.